Hey, I'm Jay from Ecotech Marine. And I'm Raymond from Rooftop Aquarium. Some call me Rooftop Raymond. Rooftop Raymond. I like it. <laughs> so uh, we're here at your store, Rooftop, and it is awesome. I love it. It's uh, just really way, well laid out, nice and uh, got Neat. these nice raceways. Yeah, yeah. Coral, you know, fish, and then freshwater fish. Yeah, we tried to change up a little bit. We had a lot of requests for fresh water, so we tried, decided to try it, and it's kind of working out. Do you find a lot of the people who are saltwater hobbyists are also freshwater and vice versa, or is it two different groups? Uh, they blend sometimes. They're two different groups. Uh, I find that the freshwater people always think that the saltwater is a little bit too hard, and so they stay with that. But they always love the fresh the saltwater, but they just can't handle it. So can't handle yeah. it. What do you what do you tell them though? Like somebody who, because clearly they're going to come in and then they're going to be like, hmm, what's going on over here? Like so. Is there something, is there some kind of pitch you give them to, to move them into salt water or you just no, let them do? I just let them do their things, but at least if I, I feel like if I carry the two groups, they will always look over to this side and one day when they do decide to, to, to switch over or to add a salt water tank, I'll be right there to help them along. Awesome. So. And, uh, and what's crazy is I wouldn't have known this, but you've been here now four weeks at this location. Yeah. Right, and before that you were a couple blocks away. Right. And you were there for a couple of years. We right? were there for like, I don't know, 10, 12 years. Wow, wow, so you've been and, through this a while. And now we're on the main avenue, which I think is better because we have better access, we have way more traffic, and uh, we're finding people that have never seen us before, and we've been over there, and they're finding us here. So it's, a, it's definitely a better location. So one thing I love to find, I love to know, I love to find out is how did you get into the hobby and then into being a, oh my God. a fish store? I was given a tank by my lawyer. Really? Believe it or not. And from there, everything snowballed. And then I ended up being a business partner with somebody and that didn't work, work out. And I ended up having to take the business for myself, which means I had to do a quick learning curve. And that's how I got into this. So when really? From a hobbyist to joining business with somebody and then ending up having the business for myself. So, yeah. I mean, now you have lots of tanks, but you know, that, that tank that got you into this, like, what was that? What, what did you have there? Some beat up old acrylic crap, if I would, <laughs> <laughs> if I would look back and say now, but yeah, I mean, a few rocks had some scratches on it. I believe it was like white acrylic stand on a an acrylic tank, and from there, yeah. F fish only or fish and coral? It was fish only at first. Right. There was no coral, and then from there, I went into something major. I did a whole custom thing, and yeah, and then from that, I went to a store. All right, before I get out of here and leave you to your business, I thought that your uh, your water station was just really cool. Uh, you got obviously. Um, we got well, mix. we got ocean water. Ocean water. Ocean water. We call it. We got the RO, RODI, and we got mixed water. Perfect. What do people go for usually? Uh, if they cheap, they go for ocean water. Re oh, really? So the ocean water. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, I'm but some people just like the ocean water. <laughs> but we also have mixed. I just find that sometimes you never know what you're getting in the ocean water. Mm -hmm. But the mix, you know for sure. So where does the ocean water come from? Well, it comes from... Uh, well, I mean, obviously the ocean. Yeah, it comes from local. They get it when there's high tide, so they can only get it like at a certain time of the day. Mm -hmm. um, and mm. so they, they ship it in tankers and they come and we fill up our big vats. But we also, uh, from our RODI, we make mixed water. And a lot of people like that. Consistent. That also allows you nice, easy, fast access for your yeah. service component of your business right, as right. well, right? So and you service, you, you've been in the service business for a long time in addition to the retail. Right, right, right. And you do the whole area around, right? We, we, do, set, we do everything. We do uh, setups and then we also do the services. Service maintenance, awesome. Well, that's uh, really cool. Do you have a favorite service tank in the area? I do, I have a guy, he's from Sweden. He's around here in the Pinecrest area. He started off with a 90 gallon. We set that up. He had that for, I don't know, three, four years. He wanted to set a big tank. His wife said, hell no. So they compromised for something. It was probably around 175 now, around 180. And it's a custom rimless. 
uh, real six nice. foot nice with a ghost overflow and four ecotech lights and the pumps and the so forth yeah. and it's a really nice setup Very love nice. that tank awesome oh that's yeah. really cool well um i'm gonna take a look around the store a bit more sure, and uh, sure. it's great having you guys yeah, thank you really appreciate it all right take care you too